So today I'm going to show you guys how you can build your very own cinema rig and what parts you need to make this absolutely monster, monster of a camera setup. <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome back to another YouTube video and you're probably thinking what's all this junk that I've got here on the table well it's not junk today I'm going to be talking about my cinema rig and the kind of setup that I've been using to film all of my videos as of late whether it's professional um, or even sometimes run and gun stuff this is the kind of setup that I use but it's mainly for like corporate and you know professional narrative story pieces and just as a disclaimer no one paid me to do this <laughs> so the brands that I've used here are all paid off of my own money um, not that I'm even big enough to be asked by these companies to make a video for them but yeah so let's get right into it and everything that I mentioned in this video is going to be in the description below so just if you like the look of anything or of any of these products then check them out in the link below So right off the bat, the camera that we're going to be using for this rig is actually my Lumix GH5 and I absolutely love this camera here because it's got cinema capabilities in it and when I mean cinema capabilities, it's got cinema 4K, you can shoot at 120 frames a second at HD, you have cinema profiles like CineD and it's got cinema settings that you can use to shoot your narrative pieces. So it's a really high-end digital SLR or actually it's a high-end mirrorless camera that you can use. And if you want to know more about this camera, I can make a video specifically talking about everything in here and my settings. But we're talking about the rig today. So just know that the rig that we're going to be making is for the GH5, the Lumix GH5. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add this speed booster onto it. And it's a Viltrox speed booster going from micro four thirds into an NF mount, I believe. So I'm just gonna put that on here now. And the reason why we put this in here is because we can mount it onto our lens. Now our lens of choice is a very popular lens called the Sigma 18 to 35. Now this is extremely good lens, it's perfect for run and gun, and it's really fast with an aperture of 1.8. And when I add it with the speed booster, it actually turns into like a 1.2 I think roughly don't quote me on that though so it's really really fast it, the aperture is really wide open and you can get some really lovely shots with it and the reason why I got the speed booster from a micro four thirds to NF mount is because this is a Nikon fit lens you can get different mounts but the reason why I went for this one specific is because it's completely manual it means it has got no autofocus at all and for me as a filmmaker that's something that I want it helps me to hone in my skills as a focus puller even more or even better when I'm doing things on my own. It just kind of like enhances my skills as a filmmaker and a videographer or a cinematographer. So we're going to attach this one in here now. So here you have the Sigma 18 to 35 paired up with the GH5. And I'm honestly telling you, this is probably like the best setup for any like run and gun videographer, cinematographer. The Sigma 18-25 paired up with the GH5 is actually amazing. And because the GH5 is a micro four third sensor, the 18 to 35 is actually turns into like a 32 to 70 lens because it has that crop factor, that two times crop factor. Next, what we want to add on is this battery grip, and this is the newer battery grip um, that goes just underneath the GH5. So if we just plug this one in here and just attach it and really good about this one is at the back here you can just lock it and if you just keep on scrolling in 
it becomes locked. And a good thing about this as well is you have a battery inside the camera and a battery for the battery grip. So you can use it for longer the time essentially. And the reason why we added this battery grip is because the cage that we bought from Small Rig or the cage that I bought from Small Rig, not we, the cage that I bought from Small Rig is actually a half cage and it's built specifically to go with the GH5's battery grip like we have what we have here. But next we're going to talk about the actual cage. Now as I mentioned before this is a small rig half cage because it's essentially half the cage. B and the reason why I got the half cage is because with the GH5 you get a really nice grip here on the side and if you were to have a full cage you wouldn't be able to access some of these buttons which is why I got the half cage. So with this half cage we've also bought a top handle of course this is a must for any cinema rig is you want to have a top handle so what we're going to do is we're just going to attach them on here with some of these bolts that small rig have sent to us and the really cool thing that I love about this handle is that it comes with this little key inside magnet that's magnetic that you can just attach and pull it out whenever you need it and this is used to attach on the screws so we just go here at the top And what you guys will realize is that the majority of this rig is actually made by Small Rig. And they're actually a really good, affordable company for people who are making their own rigs at home for whatever camera. And they've got a variety of different cages that you can use from um, depending on what camera you have. I'm gonna tighten these all. So here we've got our top handle that we're gonna be carrying our cage from. Next, what we want to add is our 15 millimeter rod. So these are also from Small Rig, and they're just little rods that you attach to the bottom of your cage, and essentially you can put things on top of it or attach things onto them. So we're just gonna slot them here on the bottom. I'm just gonna tighten up this little lever here, or this little, I don't know what this is called, this little thing so that they're nice and secure on there. And really good about this is that they're carbon fiber. So not only are they light, but they're extremely durable as well. So it's really good quality stuff for a really cheap price. Okay, so next what we're gonna add is another set of 15 millimeter rods to the back of the camera this time. And these will be to kind of keep our V mount battery onto it. Here, just tying these up. Oh my gosh, the light is going crazy right now. Which is bad because I've got my windows closed, my curtains closed, but the light's just shining right through them. Okay, so this is on there securely. So this is what it looks like. And it looks a little bit like a little shopping cart, to be honest. Okay, so this is our cage. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach our camera onto the cage. And so here, it just literally slots right in there perfectly. And at the bottom of the cage, there's a little pin and it matches up exactly with the GH5's battery grip. So right underneath here, we just want to start screwing this in. So usually you can have like a penny or something and just start screwing that in until it's secure. I carry around this necklace with me specifically for this reason. So I can unattach and attach different parts of my camera rig. So here we have, and it's really sturdy. The good thing about this camera rig and this top handle is that no matter what you do with it, it's not gonna fall down, like at all. It's really secure in there. All right, so we put this aside. And now next, what we wanna do is we're gonna attach our lens support. Now, the reason why I bought this lens support is because with the heavier the lenses get, you know, you get a lot of uh, pressure or weight on the front of the camera. So this helps it to balance out. And also with the battery grip, the way it's set and the way the cage is set, there's nothing to kind of press down on the camera. So if you make lots of like jittery motions or movements, it kind of like goes up a little bit, which I'm not a fan of to be honest. So when I add this onto it and I add my back, and I add my matte box onto it later on. It just helps it to keep it a little bit more front heavy, I suppose. So we're just gonna add this on now. So here it is now, from the front, from the side, from the back. And you can work 
from this and it's absolutely fine and it still looks relatively impressive but what I've done is I've actually bought a side handle that goes onto the side just for that extra security and it's this really nice like I want to say it's mahogany but it might not be mahogany really nice wooden handle which I also got from small rig it's got this little safety pin here to ensure that everything's locked in properly and it literally goes on the side of the small rig the half cage so if we just attach this on here and flip the lever up here we go and now it's fully secured in there like this is not going to drop whatsoever and you can hold it and however way you want it it's there secured and I've actually mounted the wooden handle at a bit of an angle so that it fits right nicely on my thumb here so I've got control over it like this and like this or like this and it just gives me an extra point of stability I think anyway okay so next what we want to add on is our v-mount battery but before we do that we actually need a v-mount plate and this attaches to the back of the gh5 or the back of the small rig using these two 15 millimeter rods so we're just going to add them on here oh first what we're going to do is open up our monitor because once you put that on you won't be able to open up your monitor so we're just going to attach them on here at the back good stuff now we can add on our V-mount battery and this V-mount battery that I got for, that I got is actually from Power Extra, relatively cheap. I think I got this from about £95. Pounds. Um, but this literally packs a punch. Like I've been using this in long shoots and it's literally lasted like me eight hours shooting at 4K, which is crazy. So we're just gonna slot this in. There it is. So when you hear that click, it's locked in securely. And there's this little red button here that if you press it, it releases the battery. So I'm just going to put this back in. And with it, I also bought this D-Tap to dummy battery for the GH5, which powers the camera, essentially. And what this does, it actually tricks the camera into thinking there's a real battery inside the battery grip for power. Again, which is why we've got that battery grip. But you're probably thinking, well... What was the point of getting a battery grip if you're just gonna use a V-mount battery? Well, because the way this cage was designed, you have a little flap on the side where the batteries go into. So if we open this here, and it's literally here on the side, right there, if you open it, there it is. And what we wanna do is we wanna attach this battery in here And with this wire, you're going to do a nice little cable management and just bring it right over and into your V-mount battery. So now if we turn the camera on, it just works. Perfect. And again, you can just use the camera like this as you want it to, and it's fine. Like you can shoot a lot of stuff with this and it still looks really, really impressive. But to add even more to this rig is we're going to add a monitor to it. Because the monitor is quite low down here, it makes it a little bit hard to see. So I've got this monitor from Field World, uh, relatively cheap as well. I think I bought this for 98 pounds on Black Friday, of course. And this just goes on top of your top handle. There's this little slot here that the cold shoe just mounts right onto the top handle perfectly. And you can just screw it in with your hands and it's there securely. Now to power the monitor, we actually use another battery which is an MPF battery. Um, this one packs quite a bit of juice and it just slots here on the back of the monitor. And it takes about 15 seconds, 10 to 15 seconds for it to boot up. But here you can see that it's turning on. Now you see there's only a blue screen in here and that's because we haven't connected it to our camera. So all you need for this is just a small HDMI that connects right from the monitor into your camera. Here there's a little door on the side of the GH5. 
that you can connect a HDMI and a mini USB right onto it. So as soon as you do that, we now have an image. And the advantages of having a monitor is because, you know, sometimes it's really inconvenient to be looking at a camera monitor. And this is a five inch monitor compared to the three inches that is on the camera. So not only you get a wider space to see what you're working with, having a bigger monitor also means that you can watch out for like inconsistencies or continuity things within your shots or within your frames. Now this monitor also has false color and a vector scope or histogram that lets me really dial in my exposure and make sure that I'm getting it right. So here now I've been using this for like a long time as my cinema rig. So here it looks really impressive already, it looks really really nice. But one of the important things about filmmaking is you need good audio. And so our next set is a nice little microphone that I got from Pixel. Now this is a relatively cheap microphone but really really good nonetheless. Here it is here. And it's called the Voicol MC50 by Pixel. And it's really good because you can adjust the settings from a low cut if it's really really windy and noisy to just normal off and also you can go control the gain on it as well from minus 10 dB to normal and then plus 10 dB if you're in really quiet situations. Now another great thing about this cage is right here on the side you've got a spot for something like a microphone. It's, as, it's just exactly as the monitor, it's a little cold shoe mount that you just slide right in here and then you attach the microphone using this cable onto the mic jack here on the side next to the HDMI, just plug that in and here you go, now you have good image and good sound. There is one more thing that I'm yet to attach that makes you really look professional and really look amazing and that is a matte box. Now if you don't know what a matte box is, it's this little thing that sits in front of the camera and what it does is it helps to block out light and it's great for when you're using ND filters. So like everything else on this rig, I got this matte box from Small Rig because it's super super light and super cheap as well and it's incredible. And what Small Rig does is they give you four different attachments that you can put on in front of your lens. And now I know that my lens has an attachment of 72 millimeters. And it usually says so on whatever lens you're using, it will tell you the diameter of your lens so that you can fit things on like a matte box. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna screw this in here. And once that's screwed in, we can now put our matte box on it. So we just put that one here. And this matte box has a little attachment on its side. If I flip it around, you'll be able to see. It's got a little thing on the side that if you just screw it in, it tightens up and it completely locks in the matte box together. And here on the top of the matte box you have a flag that blocks out the sun and here you can control it you know to however you want it to depending on where the light is coming from you can kind of block out the sun. And you can also remove it as well, it's completely up to you. So we'll close this for now. And here you have it, this is my fully functioning cinema rig that I use for corporate shoots or narrative stories. And you can see that it's an absolute beast. And it's just so amazing to walk around with this camera that everyone just thinks you're an absolute beast. If you turn up to any set with this camera or with a rig like this, everyone's just gonna think, wow, this guy knows what he's doing. Look how monstrous his set is. Look how nice his camera looks. There is one more thing which I'm missing on it, which I am ordering again from Small Rig, which is a follow focus. Now a follow focus is something which I'm gonna be attaching on this side here, and it just connects to the lens and it helps me to focus better. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is a manual lens, so everything I do, I have to do it by hand, whether that's zooming in or focusing, I have to do all of that by hand. So attaching a follow focus here on the side just makes it a lot easier for me to navigate through it and focus all my shots properly. But yeah guys, let me know what you think. Um, do you like my cinema rig? If yes, oh, look how amazing that looks. 
If yes, then please do give us a like and write a comment down what you think of it. If you want some more details on all of the equipment that I've got on it, then please comment and I'm happy to share my thoughts with you. It's great to work with. It's a little bit heavier, so it's great for stabilization and paired up with the GH5s. In body stabilization, you get some really, really nice stable shots of it. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions about my rig, then please do let me know and I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. But take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.